Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, nice. We're going to get started. And I'm going to go over this and then it's going to go away. Okay. And I texted it to most of you. So let's talk about the workout for today. Um, the equipment that you need is going to be a pair of dumbbells and a small step Fine. stool. Okay. I, um, so I've got seven pound dumbbells for me and I'm going to use it for all things. I know most of you, um, if you have dumbbells, you have a limited supply. You don't have like here at Coco, uh, every weight under the sun, <clears throat> every weight under 20 pounds, I guess it is. Uh, so use what you have. Um, there's going to be a lot of dumbbell movements incorporated today because we haven't done so much yet. All right. So here's how this is going to lay out. This workout is for time. So we have four rounds in red there of the boom 60. Boom 60 is going to be some cardio work. We're going to do three sets of 20 seconds. We'll start with, <laughs> with skaters, move to sidekicks, and then mountain climbers. And then we'll go into our standing work. So we have uh, dumbbell squats, wood chops, right and left, and then renegade rows. Each of those items we're going to do for a minute. We'll get a 15 second break and then do each of those items for 45 seconds. Then we get a water break. Then we go into our next boom 60, same thing, 20, 20, 20 of skaters, sidekicks, and mountain climbers. Then we have more standing work. We have reverse lunge to shoulder press, bent over reverse rows, Bulgarian split squat. So that's why we need the little step stool. And then for each leg, 15 second break, and then into 45 second round of each item. Then we get a water break. Then we get our third round of boom 60s. Then we have kneeling work. So if you need something, and, and it doesn't have to be kneeling. I like kneeling work, as you know, because it helps us really focus on engaging our inner thighs and staying nice and still in our core. Um, so if you don't have pillows handy or it's not comfortable for you to be on your knees, you can do it standing. Uh, but we have front raise, lateral raise, lateral raise, bent over with airplane arms, reverse lunge um, to the right, then we have upright rows and reverse lunge to the left, all of that for a minute. Then we'll get a 45 second round of everything. Then boom 60 again, and then we're onto our core work. Russian twist, cocoon, scissors, and prone breaststroke. Okay, oh my 60 seconds and 45 seconds. Yeah, we got a full workout today. There's not as much cardio and it's not integrated in. We're just gonna do a minute here and there. So just four minutes of cardio throughout. Um, I will talk us through everything. Uh, hopefully everyone has the equipment that they need and we're ready to go. Any questions? All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop sharing the content. Kevin's gonna have it shared on his screen. So if you have questions or need to look, you can find Kevin's screen. But here I go, I'm, I'm no longer sharing the content. Now it's me on the big screen. Uh, all right, so let's get going with our dynamic stretching warm up. Okay, I heard that some people are feeling a little bit sore. So remember this dynamic stretching warm up is here to get the blood flowing. Okay, blood flow is going to help if you're feeling a little bit sore. And as we always say with these hit workouts, every day isn't the same. You don't always feel the greatest every day. Some days you have more energy, some days you have less. In addition, you sometimes might start off slow. So be forgiving. Um, I have a little phrase uh, at the bottom of today's workout. Yeah. Um, the stronger the wind, the stronger the tree. I thought that was really appropriate um, quote for us today. Because sometimes, especially lately, it does feel like the wind's blowing pretty hard. And uh, we can do this. 
the other day, I, um, as some of you know, I was kind of having a blue day, uh, but you know, I had some friends reach out, help lift me up and I'm feeling better and I'm keeping busy and keeping fit and uh, it will be better. We'll all be stronger. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of squats here. Get my whoo, thighs warmed up. It's my thighs that are killing me. I've also started a Tuesday, Thursday strong and steady class at 10 a.m. For those people that you know that might not want something quite as dynamic as a HIT class. So feel free to reach out to me if you know of anyone that might want a strong and steady sort of class format. Um, and it's also on the YouTube channel, Coco Denver. All right, so let's get started. So we have 60 seconds up on the clock. What? Oh, right, I need to mute you guys. Sorry about that, folks. Mute all. All right, so here we go. So we're starting with our 60, boom, 60. So we're starting with skaters. So I'm starting off, I wanna get as far uh, laterally as I can. I'm gonna take my inside hand, reach for my uh, right hand to left ankle bone, and let's go. 20 seconds. And I might not be starting off with a good hop. I'm just lengthening through my glutes, trying to stay nice and level, keep my core engaged. Okay, that's, oh, I'm way past. Okay, now I want side kicks. Kevin, can you cue me at the 20 second mark? <laughs> well, we're behind. <laughs> uh. All right, we're having some communication difficulties here. Okay, now we have 20 seconds of mountain climbers. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice job. Okay, now we're going into our weightlifting work, okay? So if you recall, Every element that we do here is gonna be for a minute. We're gonna try and do no transition time between exercises. Now, of course, if you get tired or you're not up for it, drop those dumbbells. Okay, so we're starting with squats, arms at our sides, squeezing through your armpits. Ready, steady, and go. Dropping your tailbone toward the ground. Steady knees, 45 degree angle with your back. Now the goal is thighs parallel to the ground. But you want to keep a nice neutral pelvis, neutral spine. If you feel like you're not doing that, don't go as deeply into your squat. Maintain that neutral pelvis, neutral spine throughout. Now for our next one, which is wood chops, we're only gonna use one dumbbell. Dropping into my heels, rising to the balls of my feet. All right, I'm setting my dumbbell down. Okay, we're gonna start on one side. So we're gonna start with this squat and rotate to the other shoulder. So we're rotating, twisting through the rib cage, keeping the shoulder blades down in the back. Don't shorten your neck. Squeeze through your armpits. Now I right away got a little bit wider in my stance. Nice solid base.
Good, 10 seconds. Hey, there's a lot of squats in this workout. All right, other side. So now I'm going right knee over toward the left shoulder in a little arc. My isometric hold is at the top. And I want to be working through my lats here. Extending through. Starting my exhale before I move. Okay, our last element is a renegade row. All right, so get down in your high plank. Dumbbells underneath shoulders, so you have a three-legged plank. And I'm not alternating with each one. I'm gonna do five on each side. And you want to try and pull from your lats, elbow to rib cage. And I find it's easier for me to get into a rhythm and a thought of doing that with repetition. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, nice job. Okay, we just get a 15 second break, break here. Kevin's gonna reset the timer. Now we're at 45 second intervals. Quick slurpee if you can get it. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, here we go. 45 second squats, I'll show you the front view here. Inhale, exhale. All right, my chest is still facing you. My knees are nice and solid. And I know this isn't a lot of dumbbell weight. Most of us don't have a ton of weights, free weights with us at home. But I promise you, the repetitions we have built in this workout, you're gonna be making those legs nice and strong. 15 seconds. Okay, wood chop. Back in your squat form, one, one dumbbell. Knee to opposite shoulder, arcing. Don't let that dumbbell go up over your head. You're holding it out and away from your body, your arms are nice and straight. Remember, as you drop down, tailbone is sinking. Don't let the weight of this dumbbell pull your body forward. All right, other side. Thirty seconds, let's go. Hopefully you're feeling this in your obliques. I'm feeling it in my right right now. I'm arcing up to my right shoulder and my right oblique is helping with that work. Five, four, three, two and one, back to our renegade rows. High plank, 
and then three legs. Now, as you go on those three legs, pay attention to your headlights. Your headlights are your shoulders, hips, knees, and toes. Make sure they're pointing forward. I suddenly was reminded of my little three-year-old niece yesterday singing head, shoulders, knees, and toes to me on the phone. All right, great job. Get a water break. We're gonna move back to our boom 60s. Get that heart rate up just in case it's not up. Yep, 20 seconds between each element here. Okay, so remember we're doing skaters, sidekicks, and mountain climbers. Now with sidekicks, I would do two or three on one side, then switch sides, unless you wanna to count to 10 or count to eight, probably on one side. Whew. Ready, we're starting with skaters. Ready, steady, and go. Okay, sidekicks. Make sure you get that knee up. Get your core engaged before you kick. That's where your balance comes from. All right, mountain climbers. Shoulders over wrists. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, nice job, guys. Whew. Okay. Now we're on to our next element, or next circuit, rather. We have four items again. Reverse lunge to shoulder press. So let's do an alternating reverse lunge. Then we have bent over reverse rows. So with reverse rows, we have elbows coming straight back. Then we have Bulgarian split squats. So here's where you need your little um, lift. So I have this little step stool where I'm gonna balance one leg up. And we'll go over it as we get started. So just make sure you have the tools that you need in front of you. So your dumbbells and um, your little step stool. Okay, here we go. Reverse lunge to shoulder press for a minute. Now, don't forget. First of all, we're gonna press as we come to standing. And then second, make sure your back button core engaged so you're rising straight up out of your lunge. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. Ready, steady, go. Don't practice bad habits. Practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. Last one. Good, okay, now we have bent over reverse flies. 
our reverse rows. So nice bent over position. Back's nice and flat. Isometric hold as elbows reach for the ceiling. Good. Nice and steady. Just focus on belly button to spine. Rib cage closing. Oh, I didn't get my. No, that's right. I thought I was off on time. Three, two, and one. Now, I'd like you to start off your Bulgarian split squats, if this is completely new to you, without any weights. And you're gonna hop out, because we wanna go down into that squat, staying nice and neutral in our spine. And we want that front knee to stay over the ankle, over the toes. So if you're feeling fatigued, just pause at the top. Practice a good and perfect split squat. My right foot is elevated on the bench. I'm exhaling down and up. One more and then we'll switch. Okay, so I have my left foot back on the bench. Be kind, be patient to yourself here. I know this is a really tough workout today. You can do it. Sinking into your heels as you go down into your split squat. Pressing through your heels, contracting through that hamstring to rise. Good, okay, shake those legs out. Give yourself a second. We're going right into that reverse lunge to shoulder press, 45 seconds. Whew. Legs are burning. All right. Okay. Ready, steady, and go. Pausing at the bottom if you need to, to get that core engaged. All right, reverse rows in a bent over. And try and think here as well as you can. My arms are dead. My chest is dead. I'm retracting my elbows with my lats. Good, okay, Bulgarian split squats.
I've got right foot back and balance on my left foot. All right, this is the last time through with this exercise, guys. Push on, come on. All right, switch sides. Sink into your heel. Contract that hamstring and glute to bring you back up to standing. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice job. Whew. All right, get yourself a drink. Okay, I'm gonna get my equipment reset here. Okay. All right. Got my iPad where I can see this workout. Okay, we're going into our booms, boom 60. So we have skaters, sidekicks, and mountain climbers. 20 seconds each. All right, you guys got it? Let's start with our skaters. Okay, ready? Steady and go. All right, side kicks. One, two, and I'm pulling the knee and snapping the foot. I'm really thinking core is engaged before I kick. I'm doing three on each side. All right, now I have mountain climbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good job. Okay, I'm reaching, going to get my blanket for this kneeling work. So I realized as I'm doing this that I've got reverse lunges in here, which obviously we can't do kneeling. <laughs> so what's that? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and skip the reverse lunges. I think we've had a ton of leg work in here and we're running short on time. Jennifer, so we're gonna go front rate, right. yes. Say hi to Mark Stevens. Hey, Mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get into our kneeling position. Make sure your knees are right under your hips. And the reason we kneel, remember, is to get our good core engagement, okay? so. We don't wanna feel like we're bucking from our hips to get our weight lifted. This is gonna make you go slower in your movement with intention, okay? So be slow, think about contracting through your core before your arms go up. All right, so stay with me, we're skipping those lunges. Ready, steady, go, front raise. Nice and slow for a minute. Now, before you move, in order to get that you, um, core engagement, you really have to get those inner thighs working. And you're raising palms down to the ground as high as you can. 
but keeping your lats working. And I'm going down slower, even then I'm coming up. And I'm getting a ton of work in my shoulders by doing that. All right, now we have lateral raises out to the side. Same amount of engagement. Start your exhale before you lift. Oh, keep that head and shoulders relaxed. Turn your head from side to side if you feel that tension creeping up. I know this is hard guys, try and stay with it. Skip a repetition if you need to, to get your breath. Okay, now we have airplane arms and this is in a bent over position. And I'm gonna not use the dumbbells at all. I'm just focusing on pulling and squeezing from my posterior deltoid. So I want to work the back of my shoulders in my middle traps. And sevens are too heavy for me to do this. I was gazing up at the screen, which isn't good because you want a neutral cervical spine as well. Fifteen seconds. Sarah, your shoulders are going to love me. Okay, now upright rows. So you're in an upright position, drawing elbows as high as you can toward the ceiling. Now you can hang on to the dumbbells by the ears too, if you feel like that grip is better for you. You should really be focusing on those upper traps, getting a burn up there. One more. Okay, now switch your grip. We have hammer curls. Again, nice and slow. For me, okay, so the contraction portion of that movement with my bicep is called the con uh, concentric movement pattern. And then as we hold at the top, that's the isometric hold. The eccentric portion of a bicep curl I often tell my clients, try not to let the weight fall into your hands. Focus on lengthening through that bicep muscle with control. So that way you keep that muscle, those muscles in your biceps loaded the whole time. One more. All right, good. Okay, now we're back to the top. 45 seconds for each guy. So we have front raises, lateral raises, airplane arms, upright rows, and hammer curl. All right, I'm ready. This is the end, and then we have one more round of boom 60s, and then we have our core work. We can do this. Okay, ready, steady, and go.
Look at that. I talked through 15 seconds of that, didn't I? No? Just five? How much? Huh? Q. Okay, cue me. I feel myself pressing my hips forward. I don't want that. So I got to use more inner thigh. Ooh. Really keep contracted through your anterior core. Don't let your rib cage flare open as those weights go overhead. You're gonna get into your lower back. Okay, lateral raises. I'm doing one arm at a time now. Oh. Finding work that I can do with good form. Continuing, this way I get to focus in unilateral work. on oh, my core, just a little bit more. Almost there, guys. All right, upright rows. Dumbbells by the ears. Focus on the upper traps. Your elbows are being drawn to the ceiling by strings. You're like a marionette. Man, I can really feel this in my upper traps today. Okay, now we have our hammer curls. Exhale as you curl, slowly lengthen, arms to your sides. Concentrate on your belly. Your inner thighs are working, so focus on pelvic floor lifting. Oh, shoot. I'm doing hammer curls and I forgot airplane arms. For those of you that are doing airplane arms like you're supposed to be, just stay with me <laughs> with whatever you're doing. And I'll switch to airplane arms when this set is done. Good thing I got a cohort behind the desk here, keeping me honest. He's cueing me on my last set to switch. All right, now I'm going to airplane arms bent over. You guys do your hammer curls. Hopefully I didn't mess you up too bad. Just get the work in. I'm gonna gaze down, soften my neck, soften the tops of my shoulders. I'm focusing here a little bit more on my mid back, backs of shoulders. Not my tops of shoulders. Posterior deltoids, middle and lower traps, lats. All right, good. Okay, get some water. All right, we got one more round of cardio for 60. And then we have our core work. So we have one, two, three minutes, we're done. All right, that's how I like to think about it. For all of you that feel like you don't have any gas left in the tank, you do. Your body is stronger than what your mind is telling you right now, okay? Keep pushing through. Okay, I moved my dumbbells in my blanket safely out of the way. Okay, we have skaters, sidekicks, and uh, mountain climbers. Okay, 20 seconds each. Ready, steady, and go. I'm gonna need a hot bath when I get home. My muscles are gonna be tired. Three, Two, one, okay, sidekicks, find your center. One, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm using my obliques to help pull my knees and then I'm snapping my heel. Whoa, last 20 mountain climbers. Two, three. And you can take whatever variation that you like. If you wanna just hold your high plank and do a knee thrust, run in place, or a traditional mountain climber. Good, okay. All right, now on our last round, core work. So I'm grabbing a dumbbell for my Russian twist. So we have Russian twists, cocoons, which will be on our back, and we pull ourselves from our belly button all the way into a ball, hold, and then extend. And we try to not let our arms and legs rest on the ground. So we have a little um, curve in our spine throughout. But of course, take the rest that you need. Then for scissors. Scissor kicks are on your back, legs extended, and we're contracting through those inner thighs. So you really want to think heavy, heavy belly. The further down toward the ground your legs get, the harder it becomes. If you feel yourself arching your back, raise your legs up more. I don't want you to get pain into your back. Yes, you can use a blanket underneath your hips if that makes it better. So reach for your blanket now. But your other modification would be late, uh, lifting your legs up off the ground higher so you have less of a pronounced weight extended away from you. Okay, Russian twists. So here I am facing you. My knees are extended out from my hips. My toes are parallel as well. Right now my heels are on the ground, but as I do this, I'm gonna lift my heels off the ground. You can keep them on the ground as you wish. And we're twisting through our rib cage from side to side. Kevin started the clock, so away we go. Try and keep your legs as still as you can. My body weight is west westing, westing on my sacrum, resting on my sacrum. <sighs> okay, I feel myself wiggling a little bit more than I want to, so I'm gonna go ahead and rest my heels down so that way I can just focus on rib cage rotation in my obliques, keeping my shoulder blades back and down, tops of shoulders and neck are soft. <sighs> I find when I do Russian twists, I like to count. It makes it go faster for me. But we're at five, four, three, two, and one. Set the weight down. All right, now we're into our cocoons. So we're lengthening away from our belly button and drawing in and extend. And slow this down as much as you need to. Start your exhale as you contract everything towards your belly button. Fifteen seconds, everyone. Keep working. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we have our scissors. So I am going to start with my thumbs under buns because my belly is so tired right now, but I'm going to work through it. Okay. And I'm doing a scissor kick and I'm focusing on those dreaded inner thighs. And I'm starting pretty high because I know a minute is a long time. And then maybe I'll kick a section here where I push myself even more, lowering my feet toward the ground even further. Okay, here I go, feet closer to the ground. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, last element, prone breaststroke. Woo, stretch that belly. We're laying prostrate. I almost messed up again, Doug. All right, now belly button to spine, everything off the ground. And we're doing a swimming motion with our arms. So hamstrings are holding the weight of your legs up off the ground. And your shoulders and shoulder blades are pulling back. But don't, again, feel like you're arching your back here. We're just skimming through the water. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Last round, guys. Three minutes. You got it. Let's go. All right. Resting on your sacrum. I'm going to keep my feet into the ground because I want to finish strong. I don't want to have any form breaks. Ready, steady and go. Just focus on twisting through the ribs, obliques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. I am still using this dumbbell, but I don't, you don't need to. If you want to set it aside and just tap your fingers on the ground, try and release that tension out of your hip flexors. All right, excellent. Cocoons on your back, into the ball, and extend. Try and imagine your core body setup, pelvic floor transverse rib cage, like a little mantra. Ten seconds of cocoons. All right. Scissors. All right, I have my heels lengthening away from my hips with my scissors. I don't point my toes. Thirty seconds. We got it. Heavy belly, heavy belly. Imagine there's a kettlebell sinking on your belly here. Fifteen seconds. I'm lowering my legs. I got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rolling over, prone breaststroke, hamstrings floating the legs off the ground, nose toward the mat, swimming through the water. Good. 20 seconds left, friends. Let's go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Oh. All right. I'm seated in a position where I'm going to do a little bit of child's pose. So let's start off with that. So I have my heels outside of my buns 
and my knees are extended straight out to my hips, from my hips. So there's that gentle space in between. And I'm gonna bend at the waist and melt toward the ground. My forehead's just gonna rest gently on the earth and I'm gonna talk to my body parts one at a time. So neck, tops of shoulders softening. Now I'm gonna widen my knees just a little bit, but my toes are still together so I can sink more deeply into my hips. Now I'm gonna walk my fingertips over to the left. So I'm getting a strong stretch down my right side body. Opening up the rib cage on the right side, lengthening through the obliques. In my mind, I'm imagining that I'm pulling my pelvis away from my fingertips to create just a little bit of extra stretch in there. Okay, now walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Rest your head on the ground and then just soften. Give into relaxing into the stretch, not clenching or gripping. Softening the neck and shoulders, opening up the rib cage. And now start pulling your left pelvis, left side away from your left armpit. Good, now I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna do Pigeon. So I've got wrists under armpits, knees under hips. I'm going to slide my right knee up toward my right hand, scooting that right ankle up toward my left hand, shoot my left leg back, and then start lowering myself down toward my elbows. And then all the way down as I'm able, relaxing the tension in that left leg. It's really easy to clench in areas without even realizing it. So make a conscious effort to evaluate where in your body you're holding tension. Take a couple of nice breaths here with this right side up in pigeon. All right, now press your torso away from the leg. Draw the right leg back, slide, slide the left leg forward. Scoot that left ankle up towards your right hand as well as you're able and start lowering your torso down toward the mat. Onto your elbows first as you're able, lowering toward the ground, relaxing that left le or right leg. Good, now draw your hands underneath your armpits, press your torso away. And for those of you that have just one more minute, we'll do our twisted pretzel stretch. So we're gonna lay in stargazer with knees toward the ceilings, feet underneath knees. <clears throat> Cross your right leg over your left leg, arms are teed out from your shoulders. Right leg is on top, drift that twisted pretzel down toward the ground on the left. And as you do so, Try and release everything that's gripping in there. Traditionally, it's the backs of the knees and the inner thighs. And take your gaze over towards your right hand. So this stretch is very similar to pigeon, but we're getting a little bit more into your lower back. So I know a lot of you need that, so I wanted to make sure to get that in today. As you are able, get your scapula down to the mat. If you're not able to, with arms teed out, go ahead and lower that right arm down towards your hip, if that's a better position. 
and, and then try and relax in the position. Okay, untangle that pretzel, bring your knees up for the ceiling again. We'll cross the right left leg over right knee. So left leg on top, we're gonna let that twisted pretzel fall down toward the mat on the right side. So left leg should be on top, take your gaze over to the left. And then release, inner thighs, backs of knees. Sink your belly button back in towards your spine. Okay, untangle your knees. All right, guys, thanks for joining.